In total, France has seized three yachts. Italy has also seized three of Russian yachts, while United Kingdom has two. Following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, authorities worldwide have launched an international pressure campaign on Russia, including seizing nearly a dozen super yachts owned by Russian oligarchs aligned with President Putin. Several countries such as the U.S., France, the U.K., and others have sanctioned the Russians by freezing their assets, which are believed to facilitate death and destruction in Ukraine. President Biden announced in his State of the Union address that he was coming for anything Russian billionaires have, disclosing, we are joining the other allies with our European allies to find and seize your yachts, your luxury apartments, and your private jets. We are coming for your ill-begotten gains. The yacht seizure began shortly after the invasion of Ukraine on the 24th of February, 2022. Here is the list of the luxurious yachts seized by governments. Designed by Igor Lobanov and constructed by Oceanco, Amore Vero is a 289-foot vessel that hit the water in 2013. And during that year, it earned the Igor Award for best design. Amore Vero can reach a top speed of around 20 knots and house up to 14 guests aside from the owner who has access to two private upper decks on board the ship. It takes 28 crew members, including the captain, to keep everything under control and working correctly. Currently, Amore Vero isn't able to be chartered as it's undergoing repairs in a shipyard in Marseille after the French authorities seized it on March 2, 2022 in the Mediterranean port of La Ciota. According to the French finance ministry, the $120 million worth yacht is part owned by Igor Sechin, considered a close ally and de facto deputy of Putin, which explains the seizure. Nicknamed Darth Vader, Igor Sechin is the CEO of Rosneft, the Russian state oil company, one of the world's largest crude oil producers. According to the European Union, his ties with Putin are long and deep, and they keep in touch on a daily basis. There were rumors that when the authorities tried to take over the yacht, the crew members were preparing for an urgent departure, although the repair work was supposed to last until April. Although Igor was believed to be the boat's owner, authorities later established that he was actually the main shareholder. The 213-foot-long yacht Lady M was seized in March by the Italian financial police in the northern Italian port of Imperia. The superyacht is capable of reaching a top speed of 38 knots, thanks to the engines that have a combined horsepower of 9,222. The hull of the ship is made of aluminum, allowing the vessel to reach such an impressive speed. Valued at $71 million, the yacht can house 12 guests and has six luxury suites and an onboard beauty salon. According to the authorities, the owner of the yacht is Alexei Mordishov, the chairman of Russian mining and steel company Severstal and one of Russia's wealthiest businessmen with a staggering net worth of $18.5 billion. He's also believed to be one of Putin's numerous allies with deep pockets. Besides Lady M, he has several other luxury yachts, so things could be much worse for him. And given his net worth, the value of Lady M is just a drop in the ocean. The beautiful yacht is currently sitting in the port of Imperia where it will remain for the time being. On the 15th of March, the Spanish authorities seized the Valerie in Barcelona, which is believed to be linked to Sergei Chemizov, the former KGB agent and CEO of Rostec Corporation, a defense conglomerate. The retired high-ranking general befriended Putin in the 1980s while stationed in West Berlin. Later, Sergei rose in wealth after Putin became the president of Russia. Putin is the one who appointed him the CEO of the state-owned Rostec Corporation. The Larsen shipyard built this motor-powered superyacht in Germany in 2013. It's 279 feet long and can accommodate 17 guests in the nine large cabins. Valerie, valued at $140 million, is run by a crew of 28 and is equipped with a central bar alongside an outdoor swimming pool and jacuzzi. Upon further investigation, it was determined that the luxury ship was registered to Anastasia Ingatova, Sergei's stepdaughter. Sergei, his stepdaughter, and his wife are currently under U.S. sanction. Sergei's spokesperson denied that he had any ties to the yacht. Some rumors indicated that the vessel was temporarily seized, but it would stay provisionally immobilized until ownership was determined. Built by Nobiskrug in Kiel, Germany, 
Sailing Yacht A was seized by the Italian Financial Police in the port of Trieste. As its name suggests, the yacht is a sail-assisted motor vessel, which means that the ship is propelled through the water using two-line shaft controllable pitch propellers. The 468-foot-long yacht can reach a top speed of 21 knots, which explains its name, Boundary Pushing Super Yacht. Valued at $577 million, Sailing Yacht A can house 57 people, guests, and crew. It offers an array of exciting features to keep its guests entertained, including an observation pod and jacuzzi above deck. Unfortunately for the owner, after it docked in the port of Trieste, the yacht was seized due to its alleged connection to billionaire entrepreneur Andrei Meldachenko. He founded the fertilizer producer Eurochem and coal producer Suek. After he was sanctioned by the EU, he removed himself from the boards of these companies. Lena is another luxury yacht, seized in San Remo by the Italian financial police. Constructed in the Via Reggio shipyard, Lena set sail for the first time in 2010. The 126-foot-long vessel has enough space to accommodate 10 guests, with six crew members on board. It has five luxury suites, a VIP cabin for relaxation, and rooms for the crew. Thanks to its engines and semi-displacement hulls, it can reach a maximum speed of 28 knots. According to the Italian police, the owner of the $55 million worth yacht is billionaire businessman Gennady Timchenko, a Russian oligarch. The former co-owner of Gunvar Group and current owner of the company he built, the investment company Volga Group. He's been a close friend of Putin since the 80s, who also gave him an oil expert license. This is not the first time Gennady faced international sanction. In 2014, the U.S. government sanctioned him over Russia's annexation of Crimea, as it was believed that his activities in the energy sector were linked to Putin. The 156-foot-long yacht Lady Anastasia, built by the company Sensation Yachts in 2001, was detained by the Spanish Ministry of Transport in the port of Palma de Mallorca. Although Lady Anastasia has a much lower value than other yachts on this list, do not let that fool you. The $7 million worth yacht is designed to allow those at sea to live a life full of luxury. The motor yacht has five suites that can provide accommodations for 10 guests, while its main suite is on the main deck containing a private office inside its spacious cabin. The suite also contains a master bathroom with baths made of honey onyx marble fitted with golden faucets. On the upper deck is a sky lounge with comfortable seating, a TV, and an entertainment system with games for the guests. The yacht's exterior is laid out perfectly with social places in every corner for the guests to enjoy the sun with cocktails. Lady Anastasia can comfortably cruise at a speed of 12 knots while its maximum speed is 23 knots. The yacht allegedly belongs to Alexander Mikiev, the CEO of Rosso Born Export, the state organization that exports weapons. Following the news of war and sanctions, the yacht's Ukrainian engineer tried to sink the great vessel while it was docked in Spain, making headlines worldwide. However, the attempt was unsuccessful and the engineer was subsequently arrested. However, Talking to a media outlet later, he disclosed that he didn't regret his actions and would do it again if given the chance. Built by Larsen Shipyard in Germany, Crescent was seized by the Spanish Ministry for Transport in the port of Tarragona in Catalonia, Spain. The 445 feet long monster vessel is made of steel, which surrounds an aluminum superstructure to ensure its durability and stability. One of the largest yachts in the world, Crescent has an interior consisting of nine guest suites that can accommodate 18 people. Furthermore, the yacht is run by a crew of 40 members who have 20 additional cabins. Crescent includes a array of amenities and features to ensure all of the guests are entertained at all times. A spa room, a swimming platform, and an onboard movie theater. Its maximum speed is 15 knots with a cruising speed of 11. Unlike other yachts, establishing the ownership of Crescent has been a challenge that remains unsolved, given its value, which is in the range of $600 million. At the time of seizure, it was believed that it might belong to a person or entity included in the European package of sanctions. According to some sources, there were indications that Crescent might have belonged to Igor Sechin, 
which would mean that two of his super yachts were seized. Axioma is a yacht seized by the authorities of Gibraltar, believed to belong to Russian billionaire Dmitry Pompiansky. Initially known as Project Red Square, this 236 feet long custom motor yacht was built in 2013 and is an actual work of art. With sophisticated mechanical equipment and eye-catching exterior and interior design, thanks to its powerful engine, it can reach a maximum speed of 17 knots, while her comfortable cruising speed is 14. Built by Dunya Yachts, Axioma offers several interesting features, such as a lineup of living spaces and modern amenities including a spacious mezzanine and infinity pool on deck alongside a spa. The yacht, designed by Sterling Scott, can accommodate 12 guests in six lavish staterooms, including a master suite, VIP suite, and four double cabins. Furthermore, the spacious vessel, worth $75 million, has 20 crew members. The yacht owner, Dmitry, is a Russian billionaire who is the owner and chairman of TMK PAO, Russia's largest oil and steel pipe manufacturer. Following sanctions by the EU and UK in March 2022, Dmitry resigned from the company's board of directors. Dilbar is a $700 million valued yacht impounded in Hamburg, Germany, and linked to Alisher Yusmanov, previously known as Project Omar. The superyacht was built at the German Lursen shipyard and set sail in 2016. The sixth largest yacht in the world, Dilbar is 511 feet long and employs over 80 crew members. The spacious vessel has several unique features, including the largest swimming pool installed on a yacht. Thanks to technological innovations and a superstructure made of aluminum, this complex and luxurious yacht can reach a maximum speed of 22 knots, while her cruising speed is 17 knots. Later, it was determined that the yacht actually belonged to Alisher's sister. The Russian oligarch considered one of the 100 wealthiest people in the world, with the last reported net worth in the range of $19 billion, has close ties to Putin and is believed to be the latter's favorite oligarch. The 68-year-old businessman is the co-owner of Megafon, Russia's second largest mobile operator, and Udokon, a large copper mine. In March, Italy's financial police seized his real estate and assets believed to be worth $90 million. The Vikings-inspired superyacht Ragnar, allegedly belonging to former KGB agent Vladimir Strzelkovsky, was seized by the Norwegian Navy. The 223-feet-long vessel was built in 2013 by shipyard Royal Nystern Sander and has various sensational features such as a helipad, spa, and gym. Interestingly, Ragnar was originally an ice-breaking multi-purpose support supply vessel that Icon Yachts converted into a dashing yacht in 2020. It can provide accommodation for 12 guests in its eight cabins. The $85 million valued yacht Ragnar is run by a crew of 13 to ensure a relaxed experience. Its cruising speed is 12 knots, while its maximum speed is 14. The Russian oligarch Vladimir is a very close friend of Putin. They reportedly even served in the army together. He was a deputy minister of economy and was later appointed executive officer of North Silk Nickel. After leaving the company with a jaw-dropping payout of $100 million, he bought the Italian Scarpa winery. His net worth is estimated at around $400 million. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.